live? All right, Shalom, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. And Shalom, meaning peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. So we're just going to do an open forum and flowing in the spirit. The brothers are here. So we're just going to start it off. Well, I'm going to start it off. And hey, well, if you brothers want to say Shalom first. Excuse me. Shalom. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash once again. And double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. Shalom. So in Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So there's nothing that this man really has, or he lacks all except a, a short time. And a short time when you've got, and you'll do it in rush, and you, you're more prone to make mistakes. You know, when you're rushing, when you're hasty, you've got, five minutes to get somewhere that takes 10 minutes to get to you're probably going to make a mistake whether you're running whether you're driving whether you're however you're behaving and so he's going to make mistakes he's going to make his own tongue to fall on himself he's going to make his own haragma to he's going to he's going to try you know when he's close to filling his belly the lord will cast, cast the fury of his wrath upon him upon e go ahead this is proverbs 29 and 16 when the wicked are multiplied transgression increaseth but the righteous shall see their fall Again, it says that when the wicked are multiplied, transgression the, increases. So the wicked are multiplied. That reminds me of the scripture of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, verse 21. It says, Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So that's them multiplying. Similarly, you know, when Jake was multiplying in Egypt, that's why they wanted to kill and do away with him. Like it says, Exodus chapter 1 and verse 8 on down. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when there, when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. So read that again. I'm stuck here. I went past it. This is uh, Proverbs, this is again chapter 29, and verse uh, 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. And the wicked were multiplied, you know, their, their rulership was multiplied in the time of the Maccabees. And this is First Maccabees chapter 1, and we'll start at 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died, and his servants bare rule every one in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. So the same thing. And that's what you're going to get now. You know, the rulership is still under that man. But like we say, he's got less time. His time is getting cut short. So he's getting a bit hasty you know, to, to his detriment. Go ahead. Psalms 36, verse 4. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. He yeah. abhorreth not evil. It's like he he looks upon evil as something as, uh, as joy rather than abhorring it. You know, the righteous abhor the evil because we know what it leads to. It leads to death. It leads to no satisfaction whatsoever. You, it's all a deceitful thing. You know, the old deceitful lust. That's what these um these things lead to, man. Things of this world. I've got Sirach 1 and 25, so lucky. Sirach 1 and 25, the parables of knowledge and the treasures of wisdom, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. That's a right, so the same, th the same thing, sin is abomination to a godly man, but godliness is abomination to a sinner. Mm -hmm. uh, a man that is crooked, he can't be made straight. Mm -hmm. That crooked serpent. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 17, and, uh, verse 15. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, mm -hmm. they both are abominations to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. So, you know, them not abhorring evil is part of their folly. That's a foolish thing to do, and that shows they don't have they have no fear of the most high power. What's that? Proverbs 17 and 15. Oh yeah, can't wait. And that word for abomination there. And that word Thawa Aiba. Thawa Aiba. A disgusting thing. Abomination. Abominable. In ritual sense of unclean foods, idols. Mixed marriages, in ethical sense of wickedness, etc. And just to put a disclaimer: 
if you can you can lay with a so called well not so called you can lay with a heathen, but if <laughs> so called heathen, <laughs> they're not really heathen. <laughs> they are really heathen. They're Except really the Canaanites. Yep. The seven there nations in Daniel. Uh, de- sorry, Deuteronomy chapter yep, seven, which I've got here. Deuteronomy seven and one. When Yahweh thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor shew mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Why? Because you see, you see, you're so. Well, it's not your seed line at that point, because it's whatever man that the daughter lays with. But you won't be able to prolong. So, say you're a Benjamite, you won't be able to, unless a, a Benjamite man lays with your daughter and gives seed there, then there's no more Benjamites. And if an Ishmaelite comes in, Yahweh forbid, and lays with your daughter, then you, that child's going to be an Ishmaelite there. So, you, so it's sort of run out. It says, Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor thy daughter. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Why? Because obviously the daughter, contrary to Edomite belief, the lineage doesn't come through your mother. It says, For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you, and suddenly, so like it, and destroy thee suddenly. So many people go to Deuteronomy 7 and 3 in reference to Edomites, and in reference to all of you other ites. But it's ite, man, because there's not a law against it. And like it says, where there's no law there is no transgression but yeah, it might not be expedient in certain times under certain circumstances and well i'll leave it as that i'll leave it as that but you can so you can go to first kings 11 and 1 and it talks about solomon if i in fact for you brothers when i read that it talks about solomon and people say see it said mobites or it said edomites but it tells you it tells you it tells you you know say it might not be expedient if you uh well, for example, the Midianite. You know that Midianite? Remember the one that got thrust through? Um, what's that? Numbers? Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I think it's in Numbers. Though. First Kings, chapter 11, from the top. But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidionians, and Hittites. Yeah. Of- so you've got... So you've got Many of them, so read them again slowly, Baba Kusha. But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughters of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites. So the Moabites, they're not in Deuteronomy 7. Go ahead. Ammonites. The Ammonites are not in that. Edomites. Edomites are not in that. Zidonians. The Zidonians, I believe they're Canaanites, so they would be. The Tyre and Zidon, the Canaanite cities. Go ahead. And Hittites. So Hittites, they're, they're in, um, yeah, they're definitely in it. Deuteronomy 7, that's the first nation mentioned. So the Hittites and what else? That's what I'm That's it. So the Hittites, and then it says, of concerning of which or something. And that, verse 2. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, ye shall not go into them, right. neither shall they come in unto you. Yep, perfect. So that's what we just read, Deuteronomy 7. So it listed all them nations, then it lists the Hittites, and then it says, of the nations concerning why? Because they were already outlined in Deuteronomy 7. You, you can't go with them. Mm-hmm. And you know, his heart was the, the main thing is that his heart was turned to the idols and whatnot. You got it? Yep. Deuteronomy 7 and 4. Mm-hmm. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Sure. So, exactly like the brother said, you know, he, 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 he was cleaving unto, cleaving unto them so much that he was cleaving unto their idols. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 17. And you know, you know, Jake, when he gets all into it, he gets into a woman. You can't see anything outside of it. It's like, oh, Valentine's Day is coming up, bro. I gotta get all into that. Where is it? Come on, bro. This is my woman's birthday. Oh, oh the no. Christmas coming. <laughs> and this could be a Jake. He never gave a fuck about any of that. But now he's got this woman. Oh, yeah. I need, I need, to, I need to do it, man. She, yeah. you know, she treats me so, good. you know. She even, you know, she even doesn't argue with me. It's like that's <laughs> a Jake. And then one so. by one, the traditions come. Yeah, come along, yeah, 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 yeah. One by gradualism, that's gradualism. Angry. That's the same way the beast man does it. Um, That's the, the way the beast woman does it. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was um, when I was in the world and stuff. I used to have this. He, he could have been Northern Kingdom, uh, Jake actually, but he he was uh he used to he had like this so called Persian friend, <laughs> Elamite friend, and uh he got he got with this Elamite girl and stuff. All of a sudden he started changing up his ways. He 
he, he decided he wanted to get a tattoo of like an alien on him or something, like some type of UFO thing, so called UFO. And even even that that so called green alien that is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's, that's going against the fame of your gun because that's they, they paint, the the common one will break it down as which is correct. Yeah, the the so called well the Edomites, the E because that, that YouTube class is Edomites is a swear word, you know. If you ever look up on captions, you'll be listening to it and say, okay, okay. You watch it and it sort of blanks out like it's a swear word. I don't want to write in this video, you get to go in the captions and we just yeah. said that, it'll be black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, they keep swearing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know, when, you, when you go into that, the, how in painting you know, himself as the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father's Son, all the angels, that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's mm. injurious or ill speaking towards the fame. You know, that's when you get the term fame. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, that was pretty much it. You know, he just told me, yeah, the reason why I got that tattoo was for that for that female to impress her. <laughs> this is a Deuteronomy seventeen and seventeen. It says, "Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that he that his heart turn not away." So you can't have multiple wives. And that's talking that's talking about king. Can't well. I was gonna make the point. You know, this is in reference to the king. I just kind of want to go straight to the point. You know? But you know, what does it say? Exodus nineteen. You should be kings, like okay. king, a, a priest, a kings and priests. Mm -hmm. So truly, we are we are kings under the king of kings. Mm -hmm. And look, it said, neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart turn not away. So that was what King Solomon did. He actually transgressed this law. You know, he he got out, he went into the into these women. Yeah, they started them. to desire to do everything they wanted to do. He started being, you know, a simp. Realistically, he was worshiping the women and whatever the women was down with. And it reads, neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. And you know, ultimately, in this world, right now, people do people get with these women. They do exactly. These, exactly what we just mentioned right now. That's like the main, the main reason why they get down with these women now, Jake. Man, is, is to literally worship them. Be it's simple like, with them, man. Yeah, I've noticed you, you've been saying a lot recently that like Jake's just fucking obsessed with the love of money. Mm -hmm. But why is he doing that? Mainly to get the these, women, right, 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 to yeah. get the women. And then it's, again, he's stuck in. It's just like it says uh, the latter part of that verse, going into multiplying silver and gold. He'll do it for the women, and it's perfect how it's in that context again. That king start to get so much abundantly he's not distributing the land he's just considering for himself he's greedy but in this world people people don't care they glorify money too much man they love having the currency you know so. all that crap so they can get what get a bunch of stuff that mean nothing to impress these hoes that mean nothing <laughs> and then i've got if you just wait on that brother because mm -hmm. I, I want to get psalm 37 right i probably got a lot to read to be fair but I'll just, I'll uh, let me just get this quick okay, jeremiah okay. 2 and 33 you were saying that why well now let's just read it you get the context mm -hmm. context Jeremiah 2 and 33, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Mm -hmm. Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Right. And essentially, you, you know, that's why as a people, we're supposed to be ministers. We're teaching our younger generation to be as such as well. It's, it's been passed through, you know. It just, just as we've forgotten the Lord, the Lord's forgotten us and the children thereof. Isaiah 4 and 6. Come. This is Psalm 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So don't be jealous of those who work iniquity, man. The evil people who get all this wealth, man. People who do much level of sin, but they get all this abundance. And, and you're there like, what the hell? Why am I still poor? How come? They don't give a fuck about me. How come? I'm out here with the, with the Holy Scriptures. I believe in the Lord. How come I don't have all this? Because this isn't the time, man. Go George Bush 1, Sirach 9-11. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. So you see him, look, he's, he's got a fucking mansion. He's got enough, yo, miles of miles of gal if they're lined up in a row but you don't know man he could get shot like i said i think it was that same same scripture you could get pow hit with the wapo zappo i'll become lame yeah i'll get ill and anything like that man yeah yeah he could get a disease from one of them women you know his house could fall on him he could crush his jaguar or whatever it is. <laughs> who knows man uh, and again, 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 Joseph of Arimathea, you know, he was a rich man, but he wasn't so absorbed in, absorbed in that, to the point where it took away from his faith. So I'm not saying if, if there's a brother that's genuinely got the faith, he's got a mansion. I'm not saying you're wicked for having a mansion, but it will, it will, it can be a burden in terms of the, the, um, the faith. What the, what's that scripture? In fact, yeah, yeah, get that, get that, get that. I'll be back. I think Psalm 37 and 2. But they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. So essentially, that is their end, you know. They're not going to prosper. They're not going to be fruitful. They're going to just dry up and be gone out of it, man. And essentially, that, that will happen starting with those missiles, man. And all the chariots shooting out those concentrated heat towards the land and make it desolation. And, it's, and it says, um, trust in Yahweh and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed. Delight thyself also in, in Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So all the desires that you have in the sense of, you know, carnal things, you might, you know, it's not it's not unlawful mm -hmm. to desire. You know what, I kind of want 
a garment that looks like this or whatever. Or I kind of want women. That's not unlawful, but you gotta balance things out appropriately because ultimately you st it all starts with serving you. How about show me how shy and he will add these things unto you. See? You see it there? That's what I was going to say. Seek ye of the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And all these things should first, exactly. That's a key word I missed there. First, and all these things should be added unto you. And I've got this. This is a Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee. And say, who is Yahweh? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. I see you, again a just way. Everything to to, to everything, but to all things there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. But even within that, there's a balance to it, man. Mm -hmm. It's all about the balance, getting a perfect, the perfect balance. Uh, balance. I'll make the the analogy of when you're in the car and you know you've got to turn. Say I've got to turn left, so I know I need to whack it into first gear. Does that mean I'm just going to be in first gear all the time? I'm just like, oh, I'm waiting, bro. I'm prepared. Or oh, that could that could be. It could, be, it could have horrible um, consequences. I know at least I'm eventually going to get onto up to 70 miles per hour on the motorway. So should I just go around? Is it a little you know, old lady's little you know, cul-de-sac at 70 miles per hour? No, it's not expedient. So to all things, there's, there's a time. There's a time and there's a balance with it, man. Thank you. Yeah. This whole chapter is getting read. You got anything? Yeah. <laughs> uh, more, mate. Do you, want, do you want to read it all the way through pure, or the do you want us to hop in and then skip it out? Oh, yeah, 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 hop yeah, in, yeah, hop yeah, in, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course, man. If you haven't gone yet, I'll read, I'll read, bro. Yeah, it's read. I'll read. Psalm 37 in um, verse 5. Commit thy way unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Yep. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Through six, trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with all oh, thine heart, heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Can you get that word lean real quick? That's yeah, okay. yeah, when, when I finished verse six. No in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy, thy paths. Mm -hmm. thy While path, the brother's speaking on it, I'm getting that. Direct, darakka, your path, your ways, your, your gates. Again, you know, the way you walk, the way you, the way you walk, the, your, your way of life that you live. And uh, again, you know, on all your ways, you should be acknowledging him. There shouldn't be a time. Um, well, you're not acknowledging everything you're doing all the time, like um, when, you're, when, you're, when you're just taking your mind off like things in the world, I guess you might be, oh, that's not really true. I mean, like, okay, when, when you go play ball, right? Like, so, always go, scriptures always come out, right? We're always like, we're always talking and we always go, you know, someone goes, ah, oh, my knees. I'm like, it's like corrupt flesh, bring out scriptures. Or we'll say something and we bring out the scriptures Damn. to go with it because it's always, it should be in your mind, everything. Because yep. you know? everything is through the Lord, Spirit, man. In that precept, till I meditate, it says, so this is that word for lean. It's either shine or shy on shine. Sorry, I'll try that again. Shine or shine. It says to lean on, trust in, support, to lean, lean upon, support oneself of trust in God figuratively. Right, lean nine times in the KJ. Stay five times. Rely four times. Rest three times. Lieth one rely. time. That's good. Rely as well. To rely on him. Don't rely on anything in this world. Don't even rely on yourself. Because <laughs> who are you? <laughs> You're corrupt in this flesh What's and that, um, you're susceptible to your flesh. Galatians 6. Galatians 6 and 3. Let's get it. I'll get it. I'll, I'll find it, brother. Right. Galatians Please. 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something, then he is nothing. He deceiveth himself. Yes. Sorry, I'll try again. For if a man think himself to be something, when, when he, he is nothing, I'm sorry, he deceiveth himself. Yes. Yes. Let me see what was no, Verse 4. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Prove Leh. means to test in it as well. Uh huh. And it's sort of um, I'm not sure the cooking the test. cooking context of, of proving like you might prove some dough, some dough of bread. Okay. Is that is that to add heat? I I would imagine so to prove I'm not it, sure. to try oh, you it might, in fire, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking to prove it. I've never heard. I don't really bake. <laughs> right, right. I wish I knew how to bake more. Are they coming through or not? They're going around to change the mind. Galatians 6 and 6. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. That's what you must do, you know. Uh, you know teach, be, a, be a teacher of good things. Things of the scriptures and whatnot. Don't be one that... that but that when, it says, when it says um, that the woman is to be a teacher of good things, that doesn't mean that you're, now you're the top, uh, <laughs> you know, you're the top <laughs> elder. But you'll teach, you'll teach things that pertain to... You know, keeping the family in order yep. and everything like that, yep. just to put a disclaimer and before you start claiming shit. And you're not, you're not going to make a video or do a walk and talk 
I doing, fucking hope know? not. You know, you, 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 sit, you stay in your home, keep her at home, and you maybe teach your children if they're there. And that's your that's your role, man. You know, st- stay in your lane, so to speak. Like <laughs> LeVar Ball said, stay in your lane. <laughs> yeah. Got a precept on that. Go ahead. Proverbs 14 from the top. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish pluck it down with their hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a I'm... Psalm 37. And verse 7. Rest in Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him, who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So that's right now is the time where you see the wicked really all their devices. Oh, can you get that word for devices, bro? Thirty-seven yeah, and seven. I, I would, is it um, Noma? Just it, well, this is Hebrew, top, but, real quick. but it would it would be no, Noema. Apostolic we... polyglot. <laughs> this is uh, Luke twenty-one and nineteen. In your patience possess ye your souls. So where's that? Pro- uh, Psalm thirty-seven and. Uh, seven, seven yeah. and I'll look at the actually, right. This this Hebrew word for devices, mm-hmm. wicked devices to be specific. It's all one word, a compound word. Okay, and cool. it's mazama, mazama. It says with a ha in the end. Purpose, discretion, device, plot. Purpose, discretion, devices and brackets evil. So discretion four times, wicked device three times, device three times, thought three times, intents. Right. Three times, mischievous device once, wickedly, once. All the ones I'm about to say are once. Uh-huh. Witty inventions, lewdness, mischievous. Yeah, this is Second Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven, because like brother mentioned about the Greek word noema. Second Corinthians two and eleven, it says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We don't ignore his thoughts. Noema, his thoughts, his imaginations." So that same word there. I read it again. Psalm thirty-seven and seven. Rest in Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So right now, all these thoughts and imaginations of wickedness are now, um, uh, are now, um, uh, they're being, um, you know, they're being um, exalted in this kingdom, and they're actually the ones that are being, um, what's the word? When something is brought to, they're being decreed essentially. You know, their wicked decrees are now. Uh, Distributed. Yes, thank you, brother. Being distributed from 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 Babylon the Great, and then being um sipping on that they're sipping in that wine, their doctrine, philosophy, in all nations. So they're all going to take part in it eventually. You know, it's prospering, and, and then you you're gonna you know if you're not in this world, you're gonna be like, what's going on? Like why why is this happening, man? And you know you might get jealous uh, if you're you know your fleshy man, but you can't be jealous of the wicked because eventually they're going to be destroyed. Mm-hmm. The time is coming, man. Yeah, like I said, you don't know what will be his end. But this is the word from Second uh, Corinthians two and eleven concerning devices. Strong's G, 3540, Naima. 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 It says, a mental perception, thought, an evil purpose, that which thinks, the mind, thoughts, all purposes. Mind four times, device one time, and thought one time. Love it. So, you know, again, man, just to clarify, you know, the time, the whole kingdom is bound by time. So they have, this is their time to rule. Everything, yeah. there's a time for purpose. There's a time for them. To have the abundance of uh, of wealth and riches, but time is gonna. Hey, that's like by that steel pulse song, that Babylon, the bandit. Time is caught upon you in that song. The time is gonna catch up upon them. Huh? Yeah. This is uh, Revelation twenty and three, and cast him. Who's him? That devil. Cast him into the bottomless pit. No. These this this continent that we dwell upon right now, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him. That he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after right. that, he must be loosed a little season. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you've got your season, man. <laughs> this is that time. Hey, can you get Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 real quick? Because this is that time. I, th- I, th- I think I know it. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 to all things there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. What? And that's the word season, Zaman, literally means what it means a season, period of time. Whether it means of a season of the, in the heavens or just season. whatever season, you know? This is uh, Psalm 37. And, um,. Verse 8, cease from anger and forsake wrath, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So of course there's a just way regarding this as well. You have you will be angry, you will have wrath, but you don't just do a freaking I'ma call this guy out, Hassad Sakano. You don't just go out and just it's, it's not right for you to go out and just punch an Edomite. It just ain't right for you to just go crazy, right? Even though he admitted it's not expedient, it's still not even lawful to just go out and just do that. You know, there's like there's a time and place for things to, to happen, therefore it's not right, therefore your anger has to be not in a, in haste. In fact, let me get Therefore, a preset. Real quick. You're going off. Let me get a preset real quick. Uh, this is the, uh, it's better when you just read it. 
like you were saying the other day, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, and remember just to clarify, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, and um, um, I know it's here somewhere, verse 9, be not hasty in thy spirit, okay, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. fools, right, so the just way, again, we always clarifying this, everything has a balance, just like you don't, you might like apples, but don't have 22, just have maybe two, you didn't, you didn't pull Ephesians before, did you? No, I didn't. Know. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Mm -hmm. Neither give place to the devil. What? What? Neither give place unto the devil, man. So, that anger that you have, you know, control it. Because sometimes Satan is getting on you and he's like, yeah, get angry. Do some stupid shit. And then get your ass in jail or some stupid shit like that. Have to pay a fine. That's what people. That's how they try to provoke you in the street. Not necessarily you're in camp oh, or yeah. company, but you know you <laughs> do so, do so. Go on, go on. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't yeah. really you want, want you to bang you his want, face. Mate. You know he don't want you to. You don't want that. You don't want you to rouse him up necessarily, unless he's gonna get some you know, recompense in and terms he, of monetary. It's like, um, it's like but let me, let me, he's, he wants exactly. you to make a mistake. Yeah, he wants you to fuck up. Mm -hmm. So then he's he's got one over on you. Right. Now don't fall into it, man. It's mm -hmm. a carnal game to play. God, don't be ignorant of that of, of the of the Satan's devices, the adversary. Yep. You know yep. he wants he really he knows, man. He knows that he's in the he's got the upper hand here because he's a fucking Edomite. And you you'll get in trouble, man. Cause Esau hates you, man. They hate their brother, you know. And I was just gonna make a point, just like with this whole thing with the this Tara Woolly Jake Paul thing. They had like a face to face thing. And then hmm. Jake Paul was saying all this whole actual alphabet community shit to him, man. Proper weird stuff. He was just doing it to provoke him, and you know, Tyron Woody was smart. He was like, he didn't say nothing. Yeah, because he, he, he wanted him to, him to flame him, and then go go in on the the um, as the brother said, you know, the the various hues in a in a in a spectrum. And he wants to get on them, and then he gets cancelled. Then he doesn't get his paycheck. Then he he can't support his family. You know, he he's thinking, man. Yeah, you man. might not think he is, but he's thinking even if he's. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they couldn't see what you did, but you, you can probably but, guess. But you can guess, bro. <laughs> Psalm thirty-seven, and um, I go to verse nine. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall they shall inherit the earth. Right, the meek shall inherit the earth. Not everybody under the sun. <laughs> Not all nations come together. It's going to be the meek of the nation of Israel, Although, which is the elect. Yeah, yeah all, all nations. Because get Ezekiel 37 mm -hmm. and verse... Who is Ezekiel 37? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for... They shall, probably towards the end. That, you know? They shall no more be two nations in the land. And if, Brother Devane, if you could get Genesis 35. Yeah, I think 35 verses 10 and 11. Do you mean verse 21? I'll start. I mean, start most there. likely, most likely. And brother, did you have a precept before that? Uh, nah. All right. Um, yeah, go, go ahead. With Ezekiel 37, 37 and 21. And say unto them, Thus saith the Yahweh power, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, and whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king for them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Yep. And yep. So, yeah. there, so what does that mean? There's two nations. So when you, when you talk about the different nations, there's more than one nation, and that's within, you know, within Israel, within Jake. So, yeah, Baba Genesis 35 and verse 10. And Yahweh said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but and, Israel. And pause there, what does Jacob mean? So like, uh, if you don't know that's that, what does Jacob mean? Yaqua like means supplanter. Supplanter. More specifically, he, he supplanter. <laughs> that's a big <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um so it's lucky, is it he supplants? Rather? Yep. Sorry, yep. So he supplants. He supplant. yeah. And Brother Devane, what does uh, uh, Israel mean? Yashar Allah, rather. Uh, prince of power. He is the prince of power. Exactly. So yeah, ten again, please. And Yahweh said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. So the so the Lord changed the na the name of our father Jacob. He is the supplanter to he is the prince of the power, mm -hmm. and that's spiritual. And then we get verse eleven, Babakusha. And Yahweh said unto him, I am Yahweh Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, Woo! and kings shall come out of thy loins. Uh -huh. Verse 12, and the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee, I will give it. Yep. 
which is thy seed after thee I will give the land. Yep. So out of out of your loins means what? Your children. So out of your children we're gonna become what? Many nations. The Hebrew word is what? Gawaya. Which in uh, a sort of Latinized translation would be what? Gentiles. You with me? Many God. nations, many Gentiles to come out of Jacob. Mm -hmm. There you have it. That's the Gentiles. So although, although we're saying not any other nation outside of Israel or nations outside of Israel, yeah, many nations. All 12 of them. <laughs> you get it. Okay. This is uh, Psalm 37, verse 10. For yet a little while, and, and the wicked shall not be, yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place. And it shall not be. And meaning it basically shall not it, it shall be gone. It shall be it should be yeah. dead, man. Like it like it says um, like, oh, what is it? Yeah, anyway, anyway. He's like not. It, so like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I know I believe we read it it's in like no. Jeremiah forty nine or twenty six. Uh, Let me check that. I'm thinking the one in Job, Job twenty. It's Jeremiah forty nine and ten. But I've made Esau bear, I've uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Go on, go on. That's obviously so he that's is, but he's not. You know. I believe we read it somewhere, but nevertheless, you know, there's many scriptures regarding him where it says he is not. This is Psalm 37, and um, verse 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth. There we are, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh for him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The Lord is laughing at the wicked, because the wicked actually, they actually think they're going to rule forever, man. They actually think they're going to continuously, like, create all these wicked, like, get all these wicked devices. Well, the brother brought out earlier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Who will bring me down? Yeah. Who will bring me down? Pride yeah. and blind, did he? Yeah. And the answer yeah. is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know, and he'll use us, because we're not, lit. we're nothing without him, you Can. know? And he's gonna use us as a sword. Uh, as, is that Jer is that Jeremiah fifty one, right? Yep. The battle axe. Come on, come on. Jeremiah chapter fifty one and verse twenty it says, "Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms." Again, the nations, the other nations, of course, because brother already brought it out. And that's actually I never really bring that out. You know, I don't think I've ever brought down a video saying so to start bringing that out more. But regarding Genesis, your favorite scriptures. Uh, yeah, man. You already know. <laughs> So, you know, uh, you know, like he is going to use us to take down the other nations, and because ultimately, once we've been changed, of course, because you know, ultimately, what what profit is that? <laughs> got, that would be ridiculous, ridiculous. That Jake absolutely threw, botched out knees, can't walk, has scoliosis, all sorts of manner of you know plagues in them, and then you're gonna take you're gonna take that lowly nation, carry them as low, and just let them have a go. No, they're gonna die. You know, we will be changed, and under the orders of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that will come to pass. Okay. It's not, it's not going to be like any other. Mm -hmm. That's all. Right. I got you. And, you know, everything because everything is in order. It's because you know, just to touch on the fact that you said under the order of Yahweh Shai, it's because that's how it's all in order. You know, He's our head, and we're we're going to do it according to our own will. That's why it's really through Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's all through Him. That's why He yeah. says that we are His battle axe of war. You know, we're not using Him; He's using us. <laughs> And we should be blessed about that, that we serve him, you know? And Yahweh Shai, he's our king, you know, we take orders from our king. Why do you think the King James Bible is called the authorized King James Version? Because he authorized the translation to be, you know, written. Under him. Right. Like he didn't necessarily put the pen. It's not translating yeah. and going, oh. Yeah. I mean, in fact, that gentle is how... Because you get brothers who say that. They say stuff like, that King James <laughs> changed the Bible. He wrote this. He didn't, he didn't write a single thing in the Bible, man. Come on, man. Psalm 37. Meaning he didn't write the Bible itself. Like he may have used words, and it might sound similar to the to the type of English he was speaking, but he didn't write the scripture. He didn't write the scripture. He didn't, yeah. he, well, in that life, he we don't know about before. He didn't write uh, anything in the Bible. He, there's nothing to suggest that he even wrote anything to do with the translation. He authorized it. That's what a king does. This is Psalm. 30, sorry, do you have a precept? Uh, la, no. la. Okay, you looking? I got you. Psalm thirty-seven, and um. Uh, verse 12 I already read that Verse 13 The Lord shall laugh I already read that so here. Verse 14 The wicked have drawn out the sword And have bent the bow To cast down the poor and needy And to slay such as be of upright conversation Because that's essentially the, Ultimately that's what they're going to do They're going to I'm going to bring out the scriptures instead This is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 16 And you know what's coming Verse 68 
For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach. Now what does derision mean? Mockery. They're always going to laugh at you, you wicked demons who actually trust in Esau Edom, man. Do you want me to put a word for derision on etymology? Right, so this is etym online. Derision. Ridicule. Sorry, ridicule. Mockery. Subjection to ridicule or mockery. From, there we are, from all French. Derision. Derision. Mockery. From Latin derisionum. A laughing to scorn. Mockery. Noun of action from past participle stem of derider, ridicule, from d down, ridere to laugh. So it means to basically look and laugh down on you, laugh down upon you. Mm. Right, you have the adject adjective risible, which means given to laughter from that same root, from the French, risible. Got it. There's a second edge of 16 and verse 69. And they that concern unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. For there shall be in every place and the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh. An insurrection upon those, okay? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling mm -hmm. and destroying mm -hmm. those that fear the Lord. Right? Again, that's what Esau Edom does. He's the one who has the rich, uh, who, sorry, who has the fatness of the earth, the, the abundance, all the delicacies, all the fruitfulness of the earth, okay? All the crops, the land itself, uh, all the... All, everything, all the companies that they have that distribute all these things really through Esau Edom, man. He's the big powerhouse of all. You know, he he's the, the one who's house. able to um um he's the one who's able uh in other words to make decrees, okay, where things like um the poor are always going to be the poor and the rich going to be the rich because he is in fact the rich. So and how can how can you even tr how can you even trust him then? How can you trust that person who's kept you poor this whole time? Never. Never, never trust like his iron wristeth, so, 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 so is his wickedness. Mm -hmm. And also, the um, lost my train of thought. What did you just say? I was just talking about. Man, I lost my train of thought, man. The there it is. You know, there's no middle class in the prophecies. That's that's why oh, you gotta man. realize why a lot of these businesses. I always say too much. You know, they have to they have to get the L down so they can get S down and you know, shut down. Because how how are you gonna force rich and poor? And there's someone in the middle like, oh, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So the gap is going to widen because mm -hmm. they are that beast that was set up to do that. Mm -hmm. When you look at the word beast, it's a, it's a low, 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 low mm -hmm. creature, a base creature, man. Mm -hmm. So Why? you're jealous of the people that's trying to kill you. That's like a weird thought, man. Imagine that. You you envy those that are using, um, using their own people against you because they don't even give a fuck about their own people, man. They literally, they look at them as pieces of shit, man, because they're the elites. Because they are. And then, because, <laughs> well, yeah, don't get me wrong, but. I think that's, that's no, some seriously you. grimy shit, man. Yeah. You look at your own people like that. Even though we look at our own people as grimy, but we still, we love them, but we hate them because yeah. they're wicked. We, we're, we're, we're showing them we're love by saying... We're still in flesh. You know? still, we still hate this flesh. Yeah. So do we hate ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> like we rebuke them out of love, you know? Yeah. But they, whereas they, they, set up, um, okay. they set up neighborhoods where the low class Edomites are literally in complete shit and they're, they're making them take the, the max and, and chipping them up and, you know, fish and chipping them up slowly and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Maybe not literally in shit, but might as well be. Yep. <laughs> and we got, and of course, like um, um, the the main point was is that the uh they're the ones that are rich, we're the ones that are poor. But there's gonna be a switcheroo, man. There's yep. gonna be a role reversal because the meek shall inherit the earth, man. Yep. To be meek means to be lowly, not to be abundant. Right now, this earth, the people who are abundant in this earth, man, they're gonna be so they're gonna be seriously low in the kingdom, man. A double unto her, man. Reward them as they rewarded you. Uh, what part of that is love for everybody? <laughs> Come on, man. Are you, like I said, man, you Christians so called don't even love everyone. The way you, you operate, <laughs> it, it shows that. Yeah, it bears witness to that. Come on. But you got anything? Uh, not for now. Not, not no way. Psalm 37. Think, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to yeah, ruin this whole chapter, man. Psalm 37. I don't want to say, of course. And um, I want to I want to go verse fourteen again. The wicked have drawn out the sword. Maybe our, our thoughts and our wording would be much better, you know. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. To be of upright conversation, it means to literally be a righteous conversation, right? Chanak, you know. Chanak, that's, and that's Enoch. Upright. You know? that's yeah, like, that's Enoch. that goes into Enoch's name, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it says um. Verse 15, their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be broken, right? They're going to fall into their own net, their own snare. 
They're gonna lay a trap and go, ha, I can't wait till this Jacob. Oh, ooh, ooh, shit, I'm in my own. <laughs> they're gonna get into some serious. They're gonna look stupid as hell, man. They're gonna be, they're gonna, they're the ones who are gonna be had in derision. The most sides are really laughing because he already sees their end, man. You know? This is verse this is Psalm 57 oh, and 6. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They've digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they are falling themselves. Mm -hmm. Salah. Man. Man, that doesn't mean Salah, see how you stupid <laughs> fucking Benjamites, man. It means pause. <laughs> You know, in verse 15, their soul shall enter their own heart, and their bows shall be broken, okay? Their bows shall be broken. All their, their sword is not going to be have any use. We're going to destroy their shit. As our are, you know, when the kingdom, we're just going to burn all their fucking guns, man. Fuck those guns. All right. And well, what does it say? It says, um, you're going to you know, beat, beat after that. Beat so there's a time you need plan. to beat your sword into a plowshare. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Why? Because you need to go and work my garden, man. <laughs> yeah, there's a time you beat your, your gardening tools into swords. And that's the time we're going into, you know, the valley of the valley rather than the valley, <laughs> the balaclava, the valley of Yahweh's decision, right? Yahweh's shapat, Yahweh's judgment. That's the point you need to turn into a sword. After that, you got to do a lot of farming, man. So take all them swords, never mind burning them. Let's be efficient in it. Let's turn it back into a plowshare. Mm. Yeah. Verse 16, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. So if, you, if, you're, if you're a man who's righteous, but you have little, man, that's better than... All the shit that they've got, man. All the abundance they have, it's, it's going to be gone, man. It's all going to be gone. So, But this stuff right here, this wisdom is this priceless and it's going to be forever. Yep. So again, there's nothing to be, nothing to be uh, envious about. Don't look at people like, I don't know, some rich... Don't, I normally look at the Rockefellers like that. But no, don't look at people like in Hollywood, all these Jeff Bezos, NBA players, Jay wicked assholes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, the, that's yeah. the best one because Jake's most... Influential, not even among yeah. Jake, among everyone, man. Yeah, and he you, know, you, look, at, you look at super influential, man. You look everyone at the fashion to, market. Uh, oh God, you look man. at the fashion market. Everyone tries to emulate what the young Jake men are wearing. Mm. Now think about that. Yeah, that yeah. goes beyond hip hop, <laughs> and that goes into into pop, so called, into you know, even your fucking folk and country and all that. Oh. And you see, it's, you think it's so divergent. At some yeah. point, it meets, man. Yeah, yeah. And that shows even in the lowest state, even in the wicked, lowest estate Jake's in, he's still, he's, he's somewhat Lucifer. Right, he's, he's bearing some sort of light. It's a wicked ninja light. <laughs> but, you know, people love that. The teenage, teenage mutant ones. <laughs> but go on. Yeah, I was going to say, even like with that old thing with Tom Woody and Jay Paul even said to him, who in your neighborhood even dresses like that? <laughs> he was saying like that because he's making a point. You're just, you're just jumping on Jake's thing. He's called Jake, which pisses me off. <laughs> so it gets hella confusing when I say that. <laughs> he's referenced him. But yeah, man. You're absolutely correct. Well, with these mamas not called Esau Woodley. <laughs> 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 Psalm 37 and verse 17. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. All right, you're gonna get in that spiritual armor, but Yahweh upholdeth the righteous. All right, your most high power, he's he's raising us up, man. Every day we we, we feel like that we're being raised up, even though we're yeah, because we why because we die daily, right? So what um, does that mean? You have to rise back up. No, can't. And it says in verse 18, sorry, 19. Lose a lot. Um, no, actually, is 18. You've been chilling with me too much, man. Those Arabic <laughs> numerals are getting to you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yahweh knoweth. The days of the upright and the inheritance shall be forever. You know how long forever is, brother? Sakari, you know how long that is? It's not a thousand years and you fucking die. That is not a, how is that eternal life? <laughs> how is that corruptible? That, that, incorruptible yeah, body yeah, to yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's incorruptible, but then it dies. <laughs> and then it goes back to the earth. Come on, man. What happens? Verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Woo, woo. In the days of famine, we're going to be able to eat, man. Even though we have, we might have two days where we're kind of like, damn, I didn't eat nothing. We're going to be blessed. We've got the bread of life right here. And then all of a sudden, we'll get food. No one, and before anyone asks, we don't know how. We, we're going to see. That's the best part. It's actually the best part. Because the most I know is he's so, he's, he's yeah. the best, man. And he's going to, he's going to, he's going to make us go, whoa, what? That raven just came and just gave us a sandwich. How does that make what? sense? Because <laughs> anything could, literally anything yeah. could happen. Yeah, man, what does Lord. it say in Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1? But that incorruptible spirit is in mm. all things. All things. So if the Lord wants, so he can he can make a tree. Yeah, he can he can just pop out some some fruit, fruit or something, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Then he can. could just drop from there. Well, uh, think about it, man. Manna. Manna. From heaven. Watch him record it. Basically, like no, no. I want to go back to Egypt. This is not as good. So you you, you never <laughs> Jake like that. Like, he's never gonna get it. Mm. And um, all right, Isaiah sixty five and thirteen. I had another thing, but it's popped out my head. Okay. Isaiah sixty five and thirteen. Therefore, thus saith Ha'ada one, meaning the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall hunger. Sorry. Therefore, thus saith Ha'ada one, Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. 
Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's truly going to be a time when you feel ashamed because you're going to be like, you know, these guys are eating, they're all dying. You must have the truth. You know, that's going to be a real shame. Some people might turn around that day. Some people might get prideful. Some people are going to be so goddamn hungry they're just going to hallucinate and be like, I, I want to eat him. To I want to eat his leg. They're going to trip the hell out, man. Well, it Can says, Proverbs it says, 15 and 16 real quick. It says Daniel 12, you know, it's going to be a worse time than ever has been. You know, 70 AD, Jake was eating little Jake babies, man. Yeah, man. Because I, I, I sent it to the chat. Whew. Long time ago now. Long, long time. I'll try to find it again, Lord willing. But it's, it's actually a, a cartoon. Not cartoon, but at 3D. It's very in-depth on how they actually seized, sieged it. And when you get into it, they're fucking very smart on a wicked level, man. Hmm. They're very calculated. Be, uh, more subtle than any beast of the field. Oh, for real. And the way the, the way they went out and stri strategized it, because strategic, when you get into that, um, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. When you get into that word warreth, there, it's actually it goes back to strategy. That strategy, and it's to do with mi military sort of power. So he, he's the top strategist, and he he was going in how he how he coordinated it off, stopped the supply of this, and he was he was just amazing, man. It was it was astonishing on the left hand side. It's very interesting, and, and when you when you watch in the, we've all heard about it, and you know, we all think we know. When you watch it, you're you're able to put yourself into it, you know, to to quote unquote empathize with it. And once you see that, you think Jacob's trouble is going to be fucker. Mm. When you get into that, think about it, and you're thinking, well, what am I? You, know, you proper try and put yourself in that mind frame. It's going to be crazy, man. People are going to bug the fuck out, man. Properly. And no one's gonna care about Jay Z songs in those days. No one's gonna give a fuck. You're it's gonna, gonna be irrelevant. You, literally, completely irrelevant, man. The only thing you're gonna care about is how do I stop my children from crying from hunger? How do I even stop tripping out, seeing triple <laughs> when I'm so hungry and thirsty? How do I even walk a mile to go somewhere if I'm this malnourished? Yep. Yep. You know, you some people they get so hungry and, and and thirsty they get blind. Hey, one time the Most High judged me. I got so dehydrated. I like I was you know sorry to be a bit TMI but I'd actually uh, I vomited and then I look up I look in the mirror I'm like I see myself quite pale I say Dad I think I'm gonna pass out as soon as I say out my ass passed the fuck out man <laughs> the Lord the Lord and I, I woke up and I was blind the most I got made me blind man you know I'm laughing at it now because I'm like hey man you got your judgment but back then I was laughing I was like fuck bro this was blind like father. oh man how long was I blind you yeah, yeah. oh bro it must have been like just less than a minute, but it was still scary, you know. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. absolutely, really was fucked up, man. I was like, I was like, yo, dad, I'm blind, you know. So yeah, like, the the Lord can put it on any on. But there's certain things that are to try you, like to try your faith, to test your integrity, and there are certain things that because you're fucking wicked, whether in this life or the one before. Mm -hmm. What's that, Micah? I always forget if it's seven and ten, is it? It's not the one about nine, the end seven, of nine, seven, nine, yeah. seven and nine. Is that the yeah. one I want? That's yeah, the proper, it's yeah, the Bible show. Because it's actually a precept that uh, is for Psalm 37 yeah, grab verse that 16. First, yeah. Read 16 again. And then okay, Psalm 37 verse 16. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. So I, I was meant to get a couple of precepts out for that. So can you start with this one, brother? Proverbs chapter 15 verse 16. Better is little with the fear of the Lord mm -hmm. than great treasure and trouble wherewith. Where we. Right, because these, these devils, they don't fear the Lord, man. They don't know what the hell's coming. That's why when, when uh, all this stuff pops up, Jacob's trouble specifically, man, they, they're going to they're, they're gonna really see, <laughs> they're going to really see fear out on the streets, man, okay? And really, it won't even be ultimately of the Lord, all right? It'll be of Esau Edom, all right? The Lord's sword. <laughs> this is uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 19, and verse 24. He that hath small understanding and feareth the Most High is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my favorite scriptures ever because I remember reading that and just being like, you know, this, I, met, I'm, I was still a baby. I loved I loved it still, you know, because I used to have something. Say oh, something. <laughs> this is uh, Psalm 37. And uh, obviously we've been past 16 now. I believe I need to go to verse 19. Uh, no, we just read that, verse 20. But the wicked shall perish and the enemies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall be as a fat of lambs. They shall, they shall consume into smoke they shall consume away and that's why it says the fat of lambs because what we would do in our customs we would actually offer that as a sacrifice in fire man that's what they're going to be they're going to be thrown in the uh, thrown into the fire yeah, those who say it says the lord has a great sacrifice in basra mm -hmm. when basra is it means a sheepfold or a flock <laughs> so the same way it's like a, it's like an offering 
Yeah, yeah. Um, Buzzer that represents Babylon. Mm-hmm. Also, I just while I'm holding it because it's, I think it'll flow out of the thing. Not yeah. to interrupt it, Salati. Okay. Just no, no, saying, some opinion. things you get judged for because you're wicked. Some things it, it is to test, try your integrity. Like David said in the Psalms, this is Micah seven and nine. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because I have. Right, so it's the yeah, last one. Right, there was a an issue, so I'll, I'll read that again. Then we don't know how much. You literally got. see it just stop. It's done. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we'll just keep going. Micah seven and nine. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because I have sinned against Him. Until He plead my cause and execute judgment for me, He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold His righteousness. Mm-hmm. Right, because what for our righteousness is like unto what? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, our righteousness is. I never realized in that scripture it's actually plural. Mm-hmm. So our righteousnesses are like unto a, a filthy rag. Now what covers us is the blood of Yahweh Shai. Now his righteousness is what's counted over us as a covering. This is uh, Psalm 37, 21. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again. But the righteous sheweth mercy and giveth. Excuse me. Again, the shoot mercy is some of that realistically. As you know, when it comes to the other nations, Esau Edom, he's done. He's through sayonara to you, True. man. Get the fuck out of it, really. <laughs> but the other nations, you know, they will go into the lands and they will, um, like, as it, they will pay tribute, I should say, to the nation of Israel. Yeah. But they will have their lands, you know, they will be amongst themselves, and they will actually know the laws and they will actually dwell in peace, you know. But they won't have spiritually glorified bodies, so they will have times of mourning too, though, when somebody dies. Uh, uh, but again, you know, the wicked borroweth and payeth not again. Because, you know, realistically, that, you know, that's the wicked are just thieves, man. And Esau Edom, he is the wicked one. He is that ultimate thief. He's taking everything. And he's actually out here, like, you know, we got here because we work hard. You, you worked hard at being a devil, man. At being a crafty fucking worker, serpent. The first, that's what Elder Apostle Tahar said. You know, he wants to be the first this, the first that, the first man to the moon, the first man to the which he didn't go. Which the first this, the first that. Well, you're the first fucking murderer, man. You were Cain, <laughs> so you're the first one. Say how it Why is, Why don't you man. make a documentary on that, man? <laughs> Likewise, they like to say they're the father of this, the father yeah. of medicine, the yeah. father of... You're of your father, web. the devil. That's what it is. <laughs> this is uh, Psalm 37 and 22. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. And that's Esau Edom, essentially. Verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and he delighteth in his way. See, the Lord is he's directing us. This the same thing with, again, his, his incorruptible spirit for all things. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right. Salaki, yeah. Salaki. We've, we've got some technical difficulties. The brother's going to read the scripture. Then, Lord willing, we shall close up. And other one, Ratazar, will also come together. Shalom. We're having some technical difficulties. So, we're just going to call it there. I pray it was edifying. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. And Shalom. Meaning in peace unto the elect. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak, Wadash. Shalom.